one of the first things I did upon arriving in Wansheng was going to the Black Mountain Valley, the Heishangu. Now this place is just located way out in the boondocks. Like you have to drive through the villages, through all these farms, through all these kind of places to get there. But once you get there, it's just amazing. This place is known for its serene, just quiet, calm beauty. Except for this cable car that my friend Ryan hated. I'm so scared. The Heishan Valley really is, is a full embodiment of everything I love about southern China. Just how lush it is, the, the plants, the trees, the bushes, the water, the, it's, it's so clean and natural. It feels alive. I mean, and it's funny, all you can hear in that valley is this. Yeah, it, and that's a really nice change. You guys who have been watching me know I, I live in the desert, so I don't see a whole lot of water. As you can see here, there's a walkway that goes pretty much through the whole valley. And you can walk literally right above the river or right beside that little river. And you can see just how awesome the water is. This place is full of water. You can see it running down the side here. And it's, it's on both sides. It's everywhere. Just water, water, water. And that's something, you know, like I said, is really nice. Actually, one part of the park uh, is in Guizhou province, and the other part is in Chongqing. And right here is the line that divides the two. And actually, this part right here where you walk along, half of this is on uh, Guizhou side and half is on Chongqing. And uh, the reason it's shaking is because you can actually, the bridge floats on the water. My friend is messing with me. <laughs> Whoa. Maybe that's why they do that. Alright, so that's Guizhou, and that's Chongqing. That's, what, one meter? That's really, that's cool. <laughs> Actually, this valley was recently designated a 5A tourist site, which means it's on par with things like the Great Wall and the Terracotta Warriors, things like that. It's not hard to see why. You just look at uh, all the water that's, that's in this valley, the natural beauty and all of that, it's, it's, it's a truly rare thing to find in China, an un, in a virtually unspoiled natural place. And that, more than anything, sold this place for me, being able to just get away from the city and get away from the crowds and all the noise and everything and just enjoy the, the mountain paths, you know, especially during the slack season with no one there. Enjoy the the mountains. Enjoy the the rivers, the the creek, the just the natural beauty of the place, and that's something that I just can't really find in Lanzhou. So it's a place I'd recommend for everyone who wants to get away. Mm -hmm.